Hello, my best sound friends and ladies. Mark the Punk Gamer, aka Mark the Punk. And yes, I'm finally doing the Maniac Cop 3 Badge of Silence review, finally, just to get the last one out for the review. So, I'm finally going to get this last and final movie in the series. Unless a root reboot happens, I just don't know. I, it beats me. So, yeah, so. A lot of Mania Cop fans really despise this movie because of its um, development hell stage of this sequel. And some people like it for some reason, so which one do I fall on? So this might piss a lot of horror community fans off, so. I kind of like this movie, guys, so shoot me. I think it's one of the coolest sequels in my opinion. Yeah, when it's in development hell. And yes, it's somewhat directed by William Lusting, as usual, and uh, it's written by Larry Cohan. I think Larry Cohan might have directed some of it. Who knows? My other people. So, I'm going to be defending the living shit out of this sequel because I like the sequels, guys. So, it's surprising to you guys. So, it's all positives here on out on this video. So, no mix or negatives on this video. So just to piss you guys even more off, so. All right, let's get on to Maniac Cop 3, Badge of Silence, positives about this movie. So they did brought back the dark tone of the original first movie, in my opinion. I thought this was pretty cool. They brought back the dark tone since they got rid of the comedy in the last sequel. So that's pretty cool. So, uh, it's one of the coolest resurrections of this one. Is uh, It's uh, played by a priest. I forgot his name, which sucks. So, I forget things. It's a problem. So, that's a really cool resurrection. So, it reminds me of the Attitude Era of The Undertaker when it says Ministry of Darkness kind of shit. So, summoning back the dead of Matt Cordell. So, I like that resurrection scene. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, speaking of that, so they finally gave a slasher villain a best theme music in this sequel, so kick ass. So that's really cool. And speaking of that um, th awesome theme music they gave for the Maniac Cop, which is awesome. Uh, this is my favorite look of Matt Cordell, um, aka the Maniac Cop. This is my favorite look of him as the entire series, in my opinion. He's more like a really burnt up zombie in this sequel. That's, gives, that gives me a positive, so that's really fucking cool. So All that good stuff. Which is awesome. And I kind of weirdly like the story of this movie. And uh, basically, um, Matt Cordell wants a freaking wife or girlfriend in this story. I don't know. It's a weird story. So, because I, I fucking like weird stories. So, so, there's a positive for that. So, that's really interesting for the sequel. Although it's in development hell. But I like the weird ass story of this one. Um, what else is on here? Uh, oh yeah, the other cool thing about this, um, at least Robert Davi gets a lot more screen time in this sequel. And, uh, you see him in shooting action, action scenes, like this. So, which is, that's cool, so, he gets a lot more screen time in this movie, so, not only um, Robert, da Robert Davi is returning for the sequel, 
What's really cool, um, Jackie Earl Haley is actually in this movie as well. Play, he plays as Frank Jessup in this movie. And he's pretty fucking hilarious in this movie. So, interesting decision to cast Jackie Earl Haley in this movie. If you guys remember this, remember that actor, he was in the remake of Nightmare on Elm Street that everybody hates. And he's also in Watchmen, so that's what um, Jackie Earl Haley is known for in his roles. So, that's a positive, I guess, too. So... To end off with the positives, so I really want to talk about all the kills in this movie. All the kills are fucking good in this one. No joke. No ifs, ands, and buts about it. See for yourself. Hi, old silver. <gasps> <laughs> So all the kills are awesome in that movie, in my opinion. Not only if he had, the Maniac Cop has the badass look, he has badass kills in this movie. All top notch, in my opinion. So, and wow, um, uh, I think that's all the positives, guys. So holy crap! As much as I gush and defend about this movie, um, I know everybody hates this one, but unless you've seen the unrated version. I only saw was the R-rated version. I don't know. I did, so. The kill's more extended or something like that in the unrated version. I haven't seen it, so. All right, um, what, my, what am I gonna give this rating to this movie? So, this'll piss you guys way the hell off, so. For my rating for Maniac Cop 3, Badge of Silence, I'm going to give this rating all five bloody handprints, guys. This sequel is a guilty pleasure of mine, so deal with it. So this is one of my guilty pleasure favorites. Um, <coughs> downhill sequels I like, so guilty pleasure. Sorry, cough there. But anyway, so that's my rating for this movie. Sue me. And I hope you best sound friends and ladies enjoyed my... New horror movie rankings, I mean, not ranking, wow, horror movie review of this movie. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. So, I know this took me a while to get to it, and I was really busy, but I finally got it out for you guys, the final movie in the series. So, if the reboot does happen, I might revisit this again in the future, who knows. I was thinking about ranking the three movies, I was thinking about it, so, uh... I don't, it's kind of pointless trying to rank three of them, so I don't think I want to do a ranking on the franchise, to be honest. Unless you guys want me to. If I get a likes, if I get a lot of likes, comments, whatever. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, controversial review of this movie. And it's my own goddamn weird ass opinion. And, uh,. I will end this review right here. Subscribe to me if you haven't. Click the bell to get notified of our next video and comment or like with this. And most importantly, share this video so I get more views and subscribers. And I will see your best sound friends and ladies on my next movie review. Who knows? But anyway, seizure later. <laughs>